In this lecture, we will understand how we draw geometric images for concave mirrors. I will repeat certain definitions that we have discussed in other lectures. Remember, if this is a concave mirror here, then the polishing is on this side. That means from this side, no ray can enter like this. So this is not possible. What can happen is that we will have ray from here. Geometric center of this is the pole that we have already discussed. And a line passing through this and the center of curvature. What is center of curvature? I recall for you. If you draw a circle containing this part of the concave mirror or a sphere which takes care of this, then the approximate center of the circle will be the radius of curvature, center of curvature of this, this system. So this is center of curvature and the line that connects center of curvature and the pole is your principal axis. We shall take the first case and that is when object is at a very long distance away from the mirror or it is at infinity. For example, sun could be treated as an object at infinity. Now if this is so, then the ray coming from infinity will be parallel to the principal axis these are incident rays they strike and then they will be reflected now to get direction in which they will be reflected you have to obey laws of reflection so incident angle will be equal to reflected angle so to find in incident angle you have to draw normal at this point and normal from on the circle is from the center any line that you will draw so you have the normal and then this angle is the incident angle ray gets reflected making the same angle and then it cuts the principal axis once again and the cutting point is the focus so you will say any ray that we take any ray coming from infinity gets reflected and passes through the focus. So rays coming from infinity converge at a point. This image can be taken on screen therefore image is real and image will be inverted. We will see how we will not do is next case and then it gets highly diminished because it is energy is coming from infinity and it is formed at the focus. Now second case when you see things will get better and more clear now the second case we are taking. So the second case is when the object is between infinity and center of curvature. This is center of curvature and this is infinity. It is somewhere here. So you draw let's say an object which is extended object and we will see the ray diagram now. To locate the image we almost always take one ray which is parallel to the principal axis and we know it will pass through focus. So this ray going parallel will get reflected and pass through focus on the principal axis. So the first ray you have got and this is the focus point. Now second ray you know you have studied that if anything strikes normally on the mirror angle of incidence will be zero and therefore angle of reflection will also be zero. So ray will come back on its original path if it strikes normally and you know the center of curvature 
if any rays passing through the center of curvature and if it meets the mirror then it's striking normally there is angle of incidence is zero therefore it will come back on the same path like this so reflected ray will be on the same line and now we get the point where actually the rays are cutting each other and this is the point where image is formed so wherever the two rays that we have taken cut each other this is the point where image is formed and therefore what we see here is that top point will come here and therefore arrow will become inverted so the image is inverted it is real because you can take this image on a screen if you put a screen here any screen if you put you will get the image on the screen therefore it's real image is smaller in size an image is formed between center of curvature and principal focus which is here this principal focus and this is center of curvature it is formed in between the third case that we take is when the object is at center of curvature now if we use this figure here this is center of curvature of this mirror and it has pole here now if an object is placed here at the center of curvature which is our third case then how will the image be formed see you must understand the logic with which I am making these figures in every case I say that ray parallel to principal axis after reflection will pass through the focus so this is one ray which you can always take in any situation now how do we take the second ray second ray is that we have already studied that if a ray is passing through the focus then after reflection it will become parallel to principal axis it is the same thing that you have studied a ray coming parallel to principal axis goes through the focus a ray going through the fact focus becomes parallel to principal axis it is called principle of reversibility so same thing happening in two different directions now the tip image is here this is the tip of the arrow and therefore the arrow will become inverted like this so best way is that you actually take protractor scale and using laws of in reflection draw these figures and this will give you permanent idea about how the these images are formed